Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 718, where we have 45 moves to clear out 66 jelly. This looks pretty tricky, but we do have a frog to help us. We've got these sugar chests, though, and they are five layers thick. There's the keyhole, that's one layer. There's chocolate, that's two, and then one, two, three of this poured fondant. So we've got to get rid of all of that. We've got to collect these keys to do it. I'm going to work on the frog and the frosting all at once if I can uh, because I can see that the frog would be extremely helpful now I don't mind moving him a little bit I don't want to move him too far afield though because I want him to be able to match up with other blue candies this is my first playthrough for recording purposes so I hope I'm choosing the right course of action here can't make a color bomb so let's do this. Now we're in here. We got we turned him into a stripe, and so he took off in his stripe form. See, now we've taken off two layers of that frosting by collecting two keys. There's the chocolate and nuts. I can make a color bot. Well, I could have done it without doing this. What am I thinking? Let's do this. And let's see. I'd like to try to take this out without using this guy yet because I think that he would be really helpful along the borders or paired up with another special. Okay, this is going to work. Look at this. So I'm going to match the purple and then the green are going to match as well. So everything is now open. I've got another color bomb opportunity. And I've got a filled frog that I can move. He takes a turn when I move him, but still he can be very valuable. Oh, and I've got licorice locks or licorice twirls set to come down. I didn't even notice that before. I was focused on the first mission at hand. But I've got this nice stripey here, so that might help a great deal if I can set it off. Trying to figure out, ooh, there we go. I've got these two to match. Now, if I move the frog where I think he's going to be the most helpful, and I like him off in this corner here, and then I take out all, well, if I take out all purple from the board, I could fill the frog, but then I lose this opportunity, and I like this opportunity. And I think that this will stick around even if I take out all blue, but that might slide out. That's probably not going to stick around. If I don't take this now, it's not going to happen. And as I do this, um, I'm likely to strike this, and that's okay because that will still um, take out a color and concentrate everything down. But I've got these little nubbins here, and I just thought right before I made that move, I probably should slow down and see if I should take out orange instead because I'm a little worried about those guys. Although it looks like I might be able to get him get them taken care of. Huh. Oh, look at this. I can make this stripe this way. And now I've got another stripe. And I've got this stripe set up. So that looks good. So I think I'll take out all green from the board, concentrating... Oh, wait, what did I just do? I was just... I was moving without thinking. I can still take out all green from the board, and that's okay. Phew! <laughs> my brain didn't catch up to my mouth on that one. <laughs> so I just made a wrong turn in Albuquerque, but we got it done. And that was my first playthrough for recording purposes, so I didn't find that that one was too difficult. Uh, but if you're struggling with something that I didn't run into, if I just happen to get a lucky board, put something in the comment section and tell me what's hanging you up, and I'll do my best to help you figure out a strategy. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.